Good afternoon, friends. I'm coming to you today after a session meeting and after our staff meeting this morning and the conversations that we had there about the depth of pain and the volume of pain, the simple number of people who have died within our church community in these past few months. Ordinarily, we would share in a time in the sanctuary um, opportunity to grieve and have tears and laughter and music and prayers and, and hear stories about the person who had died, to hear stories about our loved ones. That's not possible in this time of COVID-19, but it's important to human beings to ritualize moments of sadness and also moments of joy in our lives. And until we can gather again, until we are able to be in our sanctuary together for a time of worship, I felt it was important to provide something to bring us together even in this technological way, a way to acknowledge the deaths that have been occurring in our church family and to sit with that reality for a bit. We know that God is our refuge and strength, a very present help in time of trouble. We know that Jesus said in the Sermon on the Mount that blessed are those who mourn for they shall be comforted. We know that our theology, our understanding of who God is in a time of death is that God cares for us in our life and God cares for us and loves us into our death and beyond. Ensure and certain hope of our God's good care. I simply am going to read the names of these folks who have died. You may have known them very well, maybe not so well for some of them. You might want to just close your eyes or light a candle or take a time of stillness or afterwards to listen to a piece of music and remember these lives and what they have meant to you and what you understand they have meant to their families and to others. So these are our friends who are no longer with us on this earth, but remain in the tender and loving hands of God. The Reverend Jim Ray, Jim Oswald, David Walter Sr., Vern Gebbin, the Reverend Don Brower, David Cuthbertson, Elaine Evenson, Mary Robertson, and just this morning, this Wednesday morning, Ron Sisson. In the last week, two mothers of church members have passed away. Barbara Johnson, who is the mother of Sherry Martins, and Beth McShane, who is the mother of Joy Euler, both in Kalamazoo, both at the First Presbyterian Church of Kalamazoo. We commend them to Almighty God. Now hear this prayer, which is often read at graveside services or at funeral services, which is attributed to John Newton. Let us pray. O Lord, support us all the day long until the shadows lengthen and the evening comes and the busy world is hushed and the fever of life is over and our work is done. Then in your mercy, grant us a safe lodging, a holy rest and peace at the last and let the people of God say, Amen. Amen. Be in peace.